Episode 2 of season 21 of South Park is out. And I have to say, it was an interesting episode. So there were two stories uh, in this episode, just like the last week's episode. And one was focusing on Tweak uh, and his fear of the conflict between Korea and the US. And especially uh, when it escalates, uh, when Korea mostly aims towards him. And the second story is, it's a very questionable subject and I did feel a little bit uncomfortable with some of the scenes in it where Cartman uh, tries to get people aware of uh, people who are suicidal, mostly him if I'm honest. So the first story I'm going to concentrate on in the video is Tweak's story uh, about his whole thing with Korea and how with Mr. Garrison is now the president, he's tweeting uh, stuff about, um, you know, Korea, that oh, they, they, they don't have the courage to bomb the US and stuff like that. And then Tweak tries to settle this uh, from talking with Craig, who is his boyfriend, uh, ever since the Craig x Tweak or Tweak x Craig uh, episode from like years ago and I'm actually kind of glad that they stuck with that and yeah so Craig sort of tries to help Tweak through like the pressure he's going through in that with Korea so he tells him to you know just write to Korea or give him a, a, a gift offering so Tweak gives them uh, cupcakes uh, which Korea then love and then Mr. Garrison uh, then tweets away uh, saying I know that boy Tweak he probably did a dump in the batter and then sent it off and I'm just like wow that yeah and then it just escalates like crazy Mr. Garrison involves Tweak, tweak in every one of his tweets and then Craig tries to calm Tweak down and Tweak gets even more pressured and he reads more tweets which makes him even more pressured and Craig not knowing what to do. I thought this little story with uh, focusing mostly on Tweak uh, was interesting. I thought it was funny as well at moments uh, like at the amusement park and there's the whole thing where you see Korea planning to uh, planning the targets for their missiles and they photoshopped uh, pictures of Tweak and his house in the targets in the files and maps and stuff like that which was a little funny it made Tweak more and more paranoid as well. I also like how they continued on the whole Craig and Tweak thing uh, though we haven't actually seen it or as long as I can remember we haven't seen it since the whole uh, Tweak x Craig thing. Now the other story is about Cartman and yeah I don't know what it is with the stories about Cartman now they're not as interesting as they used to be and in this one Cartman I don't know it's like he's he wants to stay with his girlfriend now his girlfriend talks to Stan and he tells she tells him that he has suicidal thoughts and that he left his voice message on her phone she sends it to Stan because she thought he might be able to help Cartman but then you just see in the very next scene Stan uh, shares it with like Kyle Butters and all the other guys and they're all in the bathroom laughing and I get that Cartman's supposed to be an asshole and no one likes him at the same time I thought it went a little bit too far maybe in that one scene and though I suppose yeah Cartman himself goes too far a lot of the times but I don't know that scene just felt a little too real in a way I do think it gets a little bit funnier when later on Cartman tries to get the school to be aware of him committing suicide, not others. The only problem is PC Principal tells him that it's a distracting driver week, uh, something like that campaign where the kids try and get uh, the other kids to try and stop adults from being distracted on their phones all the time while driving their cars. Now the story itself isn't really too funny but it has this one scene where Cartman 
um, goes to the principal uh, you know the day after uh, one of the boys dies from a distracted driver and Cartman is annoyed because all the kids are mourning over his death and it's uh, you know fair enough to say that they would be mourning but he's you know it's a very Cartman thing where he comes in and he says uh, something along the lines of so what like you know he, he's already dead we can't do anything about him do anything about it whereas you could stop me from committing uh, suicide and you know it's uh, it's very obvious that Cartman's just looking for attention with all this and it, it is actually very hard to get into that like story and then actually enjoy it but that's the only scene that I actually find a little bit funny because not because I find the whole thing about death funny I find it that it's just a Cartman thing to do if that makes any sense to people and then Cartman also does this whole like song where he tries to get people aware of him committing suicide and how people you know would miss him uh, apparently if he did saying that he's cool and stuff like that um which you know it's just a Cartman thing like it's not too offensive I don't think but apart from those couple of things uh the this story with Cartman I just found it a little bit difficult to enjoy and find any like fun in it to be honest uh, because it is a very difficult subject I think to really enjoy and if it wasn't for the fact that it was Cartman I don't think I'd enjoy that scene with him and PC Principal uh, after the morning of the guy who got run over uh, as much. So my overall thoughts on the episode were that I really liked the, the Tweak episode. Uh, him and Craig, I thought it was great to see them. Uh, some continuity, even if it is from years ago, uh, it's still good to see. And, you know, it's actually good to see a story focused on Tweak again. It's been ages since we've seen that. Um, the story with Cartman, though, uh, I don't know. I just found it a little... I don't know I just felt as if it was too real in a way but I suppose that's South Park for you Um, not saying that it's bad but I just couldn't enjoy it uh, as much but one thing I can definitely say is that I think I do prefer this episode episode 2 over uh, the previous episode uh, mostly because of the whole tweak thing it was more enjoyable than uh, what Randy was doing with the home improvement stuff and the whole Alexa thing with Carmen. That's pretty much all I have to say uh, on this episode. Uh, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think uh, of this episode. Did you enjoy it? You know, tell me, are you looking forward to the new episodes coming out? Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Stay up to date with more videos that I will have in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.